Hey, how's everybody doing? All right, so last night after I... After I... Uh, after I finished the video, I went in the house and I just chilled out. And then I thought about a few things. And then I listened to the video. One thing I did notice, it was very like... Loud now. I think my Blue Yeti, my my little USB mic that I record this audio is was on this side, and it was right next to the HDX rack, which the HDX rack makes a little bit of noise, like it's a little like maybe. But also when I uh, process this in screen capture right that's the name of this screen flow this is the name of the software that i use i uh i pumped up the l the uh l the the the, the fab filter limiter and i think i just hit it too hard so we're we move the <laughs> we move the blue over here to see if maybe because there's a little bit more like over here and there's less over here okay so couple of thoughts on this mix template well we're gonna talk about a few things obviously if anybody in the world of pro audio has uh, been conscious in the last few days you know that this whole thing with waves has changed now I've I have a 15 million waves plugins if you come here and you go to waves you will see yeah there you go look at that there's a whole bunch of waves I spent a lot of money with waves I don't use 99% of it, but there are a few pieces. Uh, their 1176 I use, and I use their LA-2A, and I use the L1, and I use their Wave Real-Time Tune. I think that's primarily the main ones that I use. Yeah, the L1, and I, I, I do have the L2 on the Master. Trying to think, that's 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 the the majority, I guess, at this point that I do use, and the, and the reason I do use uh, these seventy sixes, I mean, they're great, but also um, for whatever reason, well, I guess it's just you can't. I have a QA Octo satellite, satellite Octo, like eight chip satellite, but man, it, it you know you put like you put like fifteen. 12, 15 of the good plugins, like maybe tape emulation and a couple of the reverbs and, you know, <clears throat> some Poltex or whatever, and you're already at the max of your chips. And, yeah, but see, it's a little low now. I don't know. It's only showing 37%. But I don't think that I can rack this up with a bunch of 1176s. Let me try it. Let me just try for argument's sake, because we're arguing put it across all these drums so this is like i don't know 12 of them let's try it so if you hit shift option you get it gets it goes on to everything that's highlighted and we go to uh let's go to ua and we'll go to uh oh i guess it's universal i don't i don't search like this usually let me see where am i at that's to you there we go so uh Maybe we'll just throw a legacy on there. I don't know what I have. I think I have the legacy for sure. We'll see. Yeah. Right? Or we got 37%. 58. It's not bad. I mean I could you I could live with these on here. But we're gonna get rid of them. We'll go back and see what it says. Yeah, 37. So I mean that's that uses like 20% to have like 12 of these things so yeah it's a little crazy i'm wondering too how the uh i have the ik t-rex 1176 and man a lot of that ik stuff you know it kind of looks a little bit you know a little like ghetto it's like the old bomb factory days but that stuff sounds good man those reverbs are nice and that that distressor in there is killer man so, I don't know, but there, there you have it. So, there's some 
waves on here, so we'll we'll kind of have to see where we're at with that. But that is neither here nor there, and I don't really know what waves is all about. One thing I will tell you, they lied to my face on the phone. So Friday morning, this all started to come out that this was going to be their deal, that they were switching to subscription and that they weren't going to do any more upgrades to your current package. So which means that like, like I've got the diamond bundle, I've got, I've got, you know, the CLA bundle, I've got uh, the, the compressor bundle, I've got the Puig bundle, I've got, you know, it's, it's, it's probably four thousand dollars easy worth of, of waves plugins if not more when the day comes when i get rid of this this is this is an imac it's an intel it's the last of the intel and i go to like whatever m3 new mac computer those will not install most likely and i will have to do the update which now you apparently can't do which means that once you outgrow, or once your computer outgrows <clears throat> your current state, you have to like buy like an all-inclusive uh, subscription, which I think it's like two sixty-five a, a year, which is basically what the they're, they called Whoop, which is the Waves upgrade plan. It was like. A yearly plan which it just happened and I didn't update this year because I'm on v13 and I, I'm, I'm I'm good but Friday it comes out that all this stuff and everybody starts freaking out now I'm not the biggest uh, you know expert on all of this stuff so I call waves because waves is one of those companies that actually answers the phone and I'm like, hey, I just saw this thing about all this stuff. And I said, my my last whoop, which is Waves update plan or whatever, um, it came up about three months ago and I never updated. I said, I'm on V13 and I'm, you know, I'm using like a, a, an Intel Mac. Um, what's going on with this? And this is what the dude said. This is paraphrasing but this was like the terminology that he used i don't know nothing's come across my desk listen to that phrase welcome to corporate america just like rip the soul out of everything in a conversation he doesn't know because it hasn't come across his desk this was on friday afternoon and then saturday it like all went down he lied to me <laughs> and he said he, it's like like a lawyer wrote that like okay so when people call say it didn't come across your desk oh my god oh anyway <laughs> it's just like a comedy show so <laughs> it didn't come across his desk so the guy that answers the phone at waves didn't know that in one day <laughs> You know, half the audio engineers in the world were going to all of a sudden hate them and turn on them. Like, they didn't know that was going to, like, come on, man. So anyway, but I didn't do the update. He says, no, don't do the update. Everything's fine. Oh, okay. And then Saturday, it's like, what? So I, I don't know what I'm going at. But, but I'm wondering if it's just time to, like, phase them out. And honestly, there's a couple things in, that I would have done differently well, I, I, I would own half the software that I own. I would absolutely own probably 20% of the software that I own. A lot of the software that I own is pointless and redundant. I mean, really, think about it. I mean, like, wow, all the money I spent on Machina... Uh, packs. I, I, if I had that money back, I, I we can go on vacation. I never use that stuff, and, and it's not that the Machina packs are bad. It's just not how I work. You know, I'm not I, a Machina. Just did not work for me. I worked so hard <laughs> to get it to finally jive, 
And then my friend came over and we started making beats the way, you know, he makes beats like the way we always made beats, which was simple. I just grabbed battery and, you know, whatever. And, and then I was like, oh, forget it. After all months of figuring out how to integrate Machina and use Machina software while in Pro Tools, because remember, I'm not a beat maker. I don't just sit with like a box and just start making beats. I'm, I'm like a songwriter producer. So the song is always first, like 99% of the time. This, well, yeah, 90% 90, 90 of the time, song is first. I already have a click. I've got chords. I've got mumble tracks. I've got lyrics. I've got melody. I've got full lyrics. I've got scratch vocals. Like, that's what I'm programming to. I'm not sitting on my bed with, you know, an MPC, you know, my hat on backwards getting jiggy with it. It ain't happening that way. That, that's a cool way to make music, but that's not how I make music. So, but but I have just unbelievable. So, so I learned this. So if you look here, you see this? These are my favorites. And it's such an easy thing. So let's say I come here. This is, uh, uh, there's a point to it. Let's say I go air technology. I want this course to be my favorite. I think I just hit command. You hold command and click on it, and then it shows up in here, and it becomes alphabetical, and there it is. And so if you wanted to know what I use most of the time, it's right here. That's it. You know, simple. I don't even, I haven't used really Little Plate, but, but Leon Todd uses it, so I put it in there. I'm like, I'm going to start using it. Yeah, H delay, Fab Filter, EQ, and Limiter, Echo Boy, CLA 1176, 2A, you know. So EMT 140 plate, the 224 lexicon, I love that. Massive passive, Poltec, Valhalla, Valhalla, virtual tape machine. I think that's the the slate, and uh, the little. Uh, this is the meter by by wave. So, yeah, there you go. And, and as I hit something, I'm like, oh yeah, I like to use that all the time. I just add it. Anyway, there you have it, and it does it for mono and uh, monos are a different different setup there's different plugins there's the mono versions and some things are only mono and vice versa but so i don't know where i'm going with all this but i came into this last the last night i was thinking about all this stuff and i was like ah, i've got these like 10 effects here for vocals like oh maybe i could cut that down to five but i was, i said you know what let me just leave it it's all here and then, like, if I want a room for a guitar or I want, if I want, if I, let's say I want, I like, I want an eighth, but I don't want the eighth. I want a dotted eighth. I can add it, make it a dotted eighth here. It's easy enough. Okay. So, uh, and that's a great plugin. Austin Hull got me into this, the, the, the repeater. But there you go. Now, this is what I did when I came in this morning. This was what was on my mind between arguing with kids and getting them ready for school and uh oh i sold the dramatic audio obsidian obsidian the 500 series somebody bought it on reverb this morning so we're going to ship that out but check it out chickity check it out before you rickety rickety wreck it out what i did was i went into my io i, I tested this and this is it works and it's good because i've been removing things i had stuff in the io that was named and everywhere and then some in the middle was buses and all this what i did was i i have bus one through ten are open i don't do anything with that because i usually use those when i'm tracking like if i throw up a, a reverb on or if i throw like a some sort of an echo on the guitar. I'll just use one of bus one through ten are wide open for me, and then bus eleven starts my mix template, which is like kick sub snare sub, and it goes it goes in order now of kind of left to right of the of the template. So it's got all the drums here, and they're in order: kick, snare, tom, over, room, drum bus, drum crush, drum two twenty four, which is the reverb. Then it's Percussion, bass, sub, and crush. Then I got guitars, solo. These are all subs. Acoustic keys, then music crush. Then a music effects. Then I've got the subs for voc one, two, and three. And then I've got like my voc main, which is kind of like my... Let me make sure I'm still using that. 
because I, I know I've changed some things here. Yeah, see, I'm not even. Okay, there's an issue right here. Right, V3. There's no more main. Right, okay, so let me fix this. IO. V3. Would not be V3 in the main. It would be. So we just count backwards. 81, or we'll go for the lasso. So we'll go 82. Oh, look at that. 80. We gotta change the name of that. Like, you just perfect this, right? And you come in here and make sure that you've only got your long delay is the first one, and your, because they default to left, right to bus 80. You go. So 80, 78, 76, 74, 72, ah, 80, 78, 76, 74, 72, 70, 68, 68, 66, 64, 62. Here's another one that's out. 62, rule 62. Who knows what rule 62 is? Don't take yourself so seriously. Who knows what that's from? Friend of Bill. All right, bus 62. Right, so then this would be bus 60 instead of V main. There's no more V main. Bus 60. And then you'd come here and you would clean it up in the stereo mode. Bam. V3. And bam. Get rid of that right. And then come to the end of B. Get rid of all that. And now you've got it legit. You're too legit to quit 60. So this would be it. So right, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80. 82, 84. Look at that. It's in perfect order. Some of these are not, they have two functions, they have two things because it's a mono uh, bus. So you just keep it, you just call the other thing just the bus. And there it is. And now they're all down the line 83 through 126. And then the 127, 128 is my print track. And that's it. So now if I come here and I go export settings, and I click on this, this is my in the box too. I'm gonna overlay this, boom. And now I'm gonna go like this. And now if I go to Vogue 3, and there it is. I only have Vogue 3, and now I bus 60. These are two monos. And that's it, because I don't have a V main anymore. Because that was for that parallel, that, that you know, uh, like the, the Brower thing, you know, and I, we, we're just kind of doing a little different thing now. And there you go. Wow. We'll just switch these up. But that's that really is the cleanup. I mean, and I think the, the bottom line is I'll just keep... I'll just keep um, all ten of these. And these are just my utility. And then you could just add one of these buses. But now... You know how this thing goes. Like you're gonna know like if I want, oh, you know what I wanna do? I wanna put a room on there. If I go to bus, I know it's all the way down here and it's up a little bit. So it's like right here. You know what I mean? Cause that's the end. The, these are the the, the 10, the ten uh, effects that are, are, are prim primarily considered for vocals, but they can be for anything. And again, some of them are mono. Some of them like slap and mono echo take up. Uh, one stereo but there it is and there's that long delay which is mono into into bus 80 but there you go say where we're at and that really i think is it and that's clean so you know as far as the waves thing i don't, I don't know what's going to happen i mean I, I thought about it last night i, I had so i had, i couldn't sleep last night I was in here till like midnight or something, and I, I had the the the, the video 
uh, you know, whatever, b bouncing out from screen flow. And I, I went to sleep with the computer on and I set the alarm and everything. And I, I don't like usually doing that. I like, when I go to bed, like I want the, comp the studio completely shut down, but it was running. So I think it was on my mind. I was like, we've been stressing like our vacation coming up in the summer and baseball and well, how are we going to do this and who's going to do that and why are we doing this and and I went 30 days, 3-0, three, 3-0, zero, three, zero. I went 30 days, no flour, wheat, or grains, lost 10 pounds, felt a lot better, feel a lot better. And then last night, I talked with my friend that's been helping me with this, and I said, listen, I'm going to take a shot at going out to dinner, we had clients in town. I said, I'm going to have some rice and, you know, some some stuff off the, the meal plan. And uh, she's like, okay, you know, just, you know, if you start getting crazy and you want to order 17 pizzas, call me, <laughs> basically. And so I did it, and I ate off the plan, and I wrote, I wrote her a, a, a text, and this is where my thoughts on it. So you get so much with my videos. It's not just talking about the five ways to make a Mesa Boogie 7 sound good. Which I obviously could not make that video because I couldn't figure out how to make the damn thing sound good. So I wrote her. This was at 12.48 last night. Okay, so tonight we went off. We went out for dinner and I ate off the plan. Didn't go crazy. A couple of observations. One. It felt good to feel full. And I've been hungry for days. And she is adamant that, like, you should never feel hungry. And my other friend who's a keto person is the same way. Uh, you should never feel hungry. I don't know. That's not ever been my reality. I, I'm one of those people that a lot of times I'm just always hungry. And I've always been like this ever since, like, forever. Like, when, when I was a kid, my dad used to say, I've never seen anybody eat so fast. Like, they he used to tell everybody I had a hollow leg because, you know, homie could pound. All right. I don't know about that. Two. I did feel a little depressed after, maybe just being weird after eating like this. So, you know, doing 30 days, like, on one thing and then eating off it was a little strange. It was okay. It wasn't bad, but I did feel strange about it a little bit. Three. My mouth ached a little bit because sugar... Uh, makes my mouth react you know like I have a little bit of like an intolerance to maybe it's gluten or or it's not gluten it's the gliden That's weak belly guy the gliden so I don't know but, but my mouth did ache a little bit and it ached a little bit this morning and I said I came home brushed my teeth and started drinking water and it said here I said this is like four or five whichever is getting towards the end here it didn't make me want to binge or anything. My morning is set with a spin class, which I didn't make to because I was up all night. And back on no flour, no wheat, no grains. All in all, it was weird, but not terrible. <laughs> so that's the text from the middle of the night. And I woke up and I felt fine. I got on my... Uh, my routine of getting the kids ready and did my morning, you know, I log my food, I have my fitness pal, I have my Fitbit, I have a spreadsheet, I put calories burned, steps, you know, you name it, everything, what I ate, what, so, yeah, that's it, man, so, it, it, it I think all in all, it was okay, so, you know, if this is going to be the way that I'm going to generally eat, staying away from all the flours and the grains and all the refined wheats and sugars, then, you know, if I can pull it off and I can occasionally go to Cheesecake Factory or get Mexican food or get pizza, then, you know, then that, that's the way I'll live. We'll see. So far, so good, though. I, I don't, like, I, like, I'm excited to get back to, like, eating, like, as my dad would say, sticks and twigs. No, you know, like, whatever, man. Steak and I don't even know what I eat. Hummus and Everything's like cauliflower, cauliflower chips, cauliflower rice, hearts of palm pasta. You know, it's a lot of a lot of weird stuff, but it's really not that bad, though. You know, being a New Yorker, like cauliflower pizza, like that that phrase was literally offensive to me. Like when people, go, oh yeah, I had cauliflower pizza. I'm like, uh, uh, how do you? Uh, uh, like it was like that phrase was so 
disgusting in my soul. <laughs> it's like people saying, you have to surrender. And it's like, dude, my dad was in World War II. My brother was in Vietnam. I was a combat medic. The word surrender was not like big on the menu. <laughs> What was big on the menu was the phrase, kick everyone's ass. That was big on the phrase. That was the big on the menu. But anyway, there you go, man. So maybe maybe the video is a little quieter with the mic over here, and I'm not going to pump up the limiter as much because definitely the video that came up that I, I watched it this morning, the video from last night, it's like, shh, I'm like in a wind tunnel. It's a good video, though, because I go through the whole thing. But there you go. End of video.